Whoops. Uh, there we go. That shoulder strap out of the way. Well, today's date it is November 2nd of 2016. My name is Jim Howard. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. And I hate this. I just made this recording. I just got this camera a few hours ago. The Panasonic FZ300. And I made my first video and I I uh, then realized after 15 minutes or so that the, the camera timed out on me. I thought, why in the world did the camera time out on me? And uh, I hadn't pressed the shutter release button uh, good enough. I saw that uh, on the display, when I switched to movie mode, the uh, little camera up there in movie mode was, was red. I thought that red meant that it was recording. No, so it didn't get recorded. So I've got this brand new Canon, uh, no, not a Canon, Panasonic camera, and this is a test of it. This is not, it does 4K video. Uh, we're using the microphone also on the, ca on the uh, camera, the built-in microphone. I have to see how that works out. Um, the camera does 4K video, but this is 1080p, 24, I think, or 25 frames per second. Haven't got the Wi-Fi hooked up yet. When I do, I'll be able to use this app and uh, to control the camera, I'll be able to zoom, do all sorts of things from the uh, cell phone. That'll be nice, but come in, that'll come in handy. But I had trouble seeing the, in the instruction book, the uh, buttons to press. I downloaded a PDF file, so I'll be able to enlarge that so I can see it. I've got diabetes and it, when my blood sugar changes or things are blurry sometimes. Sometimes I can go to the grocery store and walk down the aisle and be down the middle aisle and I can see all the prices and things up there and then sometimes I go and then I can't read the stuff that's up there. It's a pain that especially doing computer stuff, it's a pain in the butt. I haven't installed the software that uh, came with the camera. I don't think I really need... I had the version before this, the 200, the FC200. I had that. I only had it a short time and I, I sold it because, it because the camera was a little too big for me. I don't have a car. So if I go someplace, if I want to go to the zoo or uh, someplace and I want to take my camera, I've got, you know, it was a pretty good sized camera, so I sold it and I got the Panasonic uh, LX7, great camera and so on. Uh, but I really missed the 200 and this is the 300 version which has 4K video, touch screen, uh, Wi-Fi has a number of in, you know improvements. Now I'm not sure if I'll be using. Um, this is just a sort of a test. I want to know how it looks. I think I'm, I'm, I think it's going to look good. Except I'm kind of worried that it's going to look. I don't want to be too sharp. Well, I am sharp, of course, mentally, but I don't want the picture, you know, to be too sharp. Um, so it's a sort of a test to see whether I'll be using it. I would like to use it this way, but maybe my old way of uh, using the USB 
but you know, a camera. That's worked out well. I've done hundreds of videos with that. Um, but definitely when I get out and take this camera, I should get some really good videos. I do want to try a 4K video. Did I just, I can't remember if I told you or if it was in the video before. Uh, yesterday I made a 30 minute YouTube video that was uh, 1080p and it took uh, a little bit over two hours to upload it to YouTube. Can you imagine if I did a 30 minute 4K video? I don't know, what, probably take six, I know, and we have uh, 100 megabytes down and two and five megabytes up. Uh, AT&T has put outside their lines and boxes. They are, they haven't, I've contacted them and said, I'm ready, you know, and they're going to be offering one gigabyte up and down. So that would make a difference. So this is a test of this uh, camera and of course I'll be doing a walking and talking video with this. Uh, what is it? Uh, Veterans Day is that the 7th? I'm going to try to take this camera down town Fort Worth and there ought to be a lot of American flags flying red, white and blue and I should be able to get some good pictures and hopefully some good video. I can't remember the last time I was actually at a Veterans Day parade. You know, I think actually it was when I was in high school and then I was in, went to a Catholic military high school for four years and we were in the Veterans Day parade every year. I was kind of, uh, all the other ROTC units, we were, you know, we were what they call 55C school. We were military all the time and uh, the other ROTC schools in Kansas City, you know, they had classes maybe an hour class two or three times a week. We had an hour class every day and Friday half of the day was full dress military parade and everything. But uh, now of course our school is located, you know, in the inner city down close to uh, where the parade was held. But I thought it was pretty neat that all the other schools, they had school buses that took them down, you know, the units that were marching, and we marched from our school, you know, downtown to the parade site, and then we marched in the parade site, and then we marched back to the, back to the school. I think one year, though, we were, uh, I think we could, we did, we, we could take our school didn't have, we were Catholic school, we didn't have any school buses, so I went to school every every day on the Vine Street bus, going to 18th and Vine, going to buy me a bottle of wine, whatever. Uh, so that year, the school sent us all home. We all, either our family came and picked us up or we rode public conveyance buses or Maybe some of the seniors had cars. Not sure where they would have parked them though. But uh, the school sent us home with our M1s. I knew, even I was a high school kid, and I knew that was a bad idea. In fact, I, <laughs> I was the only one who rode the Vine Street. I was the only white person that rode it. Well, maybe the driver was white, I can't remember, but everybody else was black for four years on that bus. But I could take another bus home, a longer route, and I took that bus home with my M1 that day because all the other cadets were on there with their M1s and I wanted to see what was going to happen and they were sticking out the window or whatever. Uh, so then the next morning we, you know, took public conveyance buses or whatever to the parade side. The school was not happy, to say the least. All 500 of us had to fall in, you know, in the auditorium and be yelled and screamed out. It's kind of funny, the two military 
the two army officers, Colonel Per Ramey and I don't remember the name of the sergeant, uh, they didn't yell at us, but uh, the Christian brothers did. So I guess this should be uh, test enough for right now. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy this camera. The only thing is that uh, I've got arthritis also. Carrying this, the camera I think is about two pounds, a little bit over two pounds. It's not the weight so much I think as am I going to have to carry a backpack or I'm not going to not going to walk around with it hanging around my neck. Uh, but I'm keeping the camera no matter how big it is. So uh, let me know what you think of the video. Maybe I don't have it set right. Uh, there's a ton. There are so many adjustments with this camera. You can put it on auto mode. Um, but there are so many adjustments. I'll never, I'm 75 years old, I would never figure out all the uh, adjustments and things that can be done to it. But I'm going to try to learn some of them to make it uh, make some good videos for you. So, thank you very much for watching.